It had always been on my bucket list to live in Paris like a local, and last year, my dream came true. In honor of the Olympics, let's take a look back at what life was like in the City of Light on this episode of Ms. World Traveler in Paris. Hi friends, I'm Ms. World Traveler Carrie Damiano, inviting you on an adventure to discover style, design, fashion, art, and antiques in great shopping destinations across the country and around the world. Come with me. The first thing most people want to know about is the food. And even though I am in no way a foodie, I ate well in Paris. You might be surprised to know that I only went out to eat a few times during the whole five weeks I was there. So I have a much better sense of where to shop for ingredients and ready to heat meals rather than restaurants to recommend. Buying fruits and vegetables was a breeze because there are so many options. Mostly, they are sold in what I call stands, which are not really a store and not a market, but an indoor-outdoor area spilling out onto the sidewalk. In my neighborhood alone, there were over 10 such stands, so most days on my way home from the metro, I would stop and pick up something fresh. The food markets are also amazing, both the permanent ones inside a beautiful old building and the weekend ones which were typically crowded and full of bustling activity. Now, if you are a cheese connoisseur, you would be in heaven. The fromageries are just so typically French that it is nearly impossible to pass by without trying something. I guess I never thought about how many kinds there are. And while I tried a few that I must admit, were a revelation. It would take a lifetime to fully savor all the varieties. And let's not forget about breads and desserts. While I am off bread and sugar and didn't try any, I could still appreciate the aroma of freshly baked croissants and the artistry of elaborately handcrafted sweets in which the French excel. An interesting event I attended was a bread demonstration where bakers came from all over to compete and showcase their recipes and methods. And I got to see how they work the dough to create such mouth-watering pastries. They are truly works of art. The food was just the beginning of the sensory experience in Paris. Everything was magnified, the street music more melodic, the art more thought-provoking, a walk down the street more exhilarating. I think one of the things I enjoyed the most was the luxury of time. I didn't feel rushed to see as much as possible, as I had seen all the important tourist attractions on previous trips, and this one allowed me to just absorb the atmosphere and the lifestyle. Another one of the benefits of having time was being able to explore a new neighborhood every day, places I would never have taken the effort to see had I been in a hurry. The metro system is extensive and everywhere I wanted to go, I could get to safely with ease. As I exited each new metro station, there was something beautiful to see, and I just can't recall seeing an ugly building in Paris. The architecture is something to write home about for a reason. Add in hundreds of years of history, the kind of intricate details that cannot be replicated today, and a sense of unsurpassed grandeur, 
and you get a city that you have to experience to understand. I love looking back on what an amazing time I had in Paris, but I'm not done reminiscing. Next time on Ms. World Traveler, we'll look at some of my favorite markets, including, but not limited to, the famous Paris flea market. Stay tuned.